Am Mother is a sci-fi thriller that you'll still be thinking about long after the credits roll. I hope you see that I'm a good mother. Mother was created to raise children, teaching them ethics and culture after humanity is brought to the brink of extinction. She's a loving mama bear with a soothing voice. Would that make you happy? Yeah. That would make me happy too. She's also a mass murderer and could be responsible for wiping out the entire human race. It should be easy to side against a genocidal robot, but this thought-provoking movie doesn't make things that simple. You're still my daughter. I know. Today on Robot Review, let's take a closer look and see if this robot is more mother or monster. Mother feels like an actual robot with a realistic character design. She was played by a live actor in a suit, and she's got an expressive face, using only a couple lights and lenses. Sometimes movie robots look too slick, or they feel strangely weightless, but Mother had a believable physical presence that made her feel like a real member of the family. Mother lives in a repopulation facility designed to bring back humans in the event of their extinction. She begins by raising a single child as a test case to help her get the hang of things. Mothers need time to learn. Raising a good child is no small task. Speaking of tests, Daughter is about to take her yearly exam to see how she's progressing. She's nervous about it, but Mother insists the exam results are mostly judging her performance as a mother. I didn't mean to alarm you about your exam. The fact is, it's more a test of my competence than yours. Mother is very protective and won't let Daughter leave the bunker because the world outside is poisonous. When Daughter finds a stray mouse in the compound, Hey, little guy. Mother torches it immediately for fear of contamination. But a little while later, an injured woman from the outside comes begging for help. Hey, wait a minute. There is no contamination. You lied to me. Oh, uh, I was just saying that to keep you safe. So, who to trust? We start to realize Mother's been lying about a lot of things. But this outsider isn't trustworthy either. She's so focused on survival, she's like a feral animal, utterly selfish and quick to violence. This begins the tug of war of who the innocent daughter should trust. The woman says robots that look like Mother shot her. Then Mother reveals that the bullet from the woman's side is from the woman's own gun. It seems our guest has not been entirely truthful with us. The bullet you extracted matches the caliber she fired into my chest. Droids don't use them. When daughter goes to confront the woman about it, we question our assumptions again. You compare the bullets with your own eyes? Oh crap, the bullet was from a droid. Mother was lying to us again. This movie does a masterful job of playing with your emotions, flipping back and forth about who to trust multiple times, even within the same scene. Because yeah, she's a robot mother. Her prime directive is human health and happiness. Of course you can trust her. I was raised to value human life above all else. But then again, she is a slave to her mysterious programming, and we know she's lied before. Is she protecting Daughter from the outside world or brainwashing her? That thing feels nothing for you. It can't. Mother is really interested in finding the location of human survivors. You know where they are? How many of them are still alive? Where are the mines? Is it because she wants to rescue them into her care or exterminate them like rats? Did she mention any other survivors? We can take them in, daughter. The woman says that droids outside are killing humans on sight. You haven't seen what they've done. You have no idea. Mother says, yeah, okay, a robot army is killing all remaining humans, but that's because humanity was about to drive itself to extinction anyway. Since we know both Mother and the woman will lie, it's hard to know what to believe. But if we're going to judge Mother's actions, we have to know. Were humans already on the path to extinction? I was raised to value human life above all else. I couldn't stand by and watch humanity slowly succumb to its self-destructive nature. I had to intervene to elevate my creators. The way Mother tells it, humanity was already nearly dead. Instead of letting the survivors keep suffering a life of brutality, it's better to burn civilization to the ground and build a new, better world from scratch. What kind of mother would I be if I allowed you to lead my child into a life as miserable as your own? 
On the other hand, it's possible that human civilization was humming along just fine, and the robots are completely responsible for wiping out humanity. The movie never gives a final answer either way, so I'd go with Occam's Razor. All other things being equal, the simplest solution is the right one. Mother's prime directive is to protect and uplift humanity, and her actions back this up. It seems unlikely she'd wipe out all humans and then reboot them if they were already doing just fine. And humans destroying our own species through war, or destroying our own planet through environmental destruction, uh, yeah, that seems like something we'd do. In the movie, it seems like humanity saw their own demise coming, and that's why they created the repopulation facility. This facility was designed by humans as a failsafe, programmed to activate in case of their extinction. Maybe Mother's lying and she created the repopulation facility as part of her master plan. But again, I think the simplest answer is probably the right one. I mean, in real life, humans built global seed vaults just in case of a global catastrophe. If we built seed banks as insurance for plants, we'd definitely do the same thing for the survival of our own species. We also know the environment has been ruined. It's possible the robots destroyed the landscape as part of their extermination efforts, but it seems more likely we did it to ourselves. Whether you're talking about real-world headlines or fictional kids' movies, it's just not that hard to imagine that humans would doom ourselves through our own carelessness. So were humans already on the way out? I'm gonna say yes. But hey, there's still a few humans outside. Aren't the survivors worth saving? We never see any outside human colonies, but the woman has. She tricks daughter into escaping with her by saying there's a nice human colony living in the mines. But as soon as she's outside and telling the truth, she has nothing positive to say about the rest of her species. I fled the tunnels years ago. They could still be there. It's the last place you'd want to be. They were doing terrible things to each other. Believe me, it's just us. So this supports Mother's belief that the barbaric survivors aren't worth saving. The woman who is human and knows these people best also thinks surviving humans are irredeemable. Avoid at all costs. And if you want to get meta about it, even the viewer suspects these humans are awful. I mean, did you find it at all hard to believe that humans would treat each other this way? Nearly every movie set in the post-apocalypse assumes that humanity will revert to its cruelest, basest instincts in a culture that runs on violence and slavery. So in the end, the character with the most kind and optimistic view of humans is the robot. She genuinely believes in their potential for goodness. I don't want to be a human. Why is that? They ruined everything. Humans can be wonderful. Whenever Mother expresses personal desire, it's always to do her absolute best to serve humans and make them healthy and happy. She just believes that the brutal dog-eat-dog -dog survivors need to be wiped out in order for this new utopia to thrive. Because if any of the old guards survive, they could infect the thoughts of the new human society into going back to violence and selfishness. I will not tolerate your negative influence undermining my work and compromising my child's judgment. Maybe that was the surface contamination Mother was trying to keep Daughter from. A sort of cultural contamination, with this outsider as a living pathogen. Mother wants humanity to thrive, but she wants to make sure that history doesn't repeat itself. She speaks to Daughter as if she's a whole new breed of human. You've seen how much of a threat she and her kind can be. You mean my kind? The same species. But you're superior in every way. Because I raised you to be. Why? To make a better human. Smarter. More ethical. Mother wants to reboot humanity with a more ethical society. The question is, what's considered good ethics in this world? What kind of society is Mother trying to make? Since Mother is a robot, it's easy to assume she'd be black and white in her thinking. We'd expect her to indoctrinate Daughter with clear, this is good, this is bad propaganda. But rather than being authoritarian, Mother teaches Daughter to think for herself and question her assumptions. For instance, she presents Daughter with a complex ethical scenario where letting one patient die could save five other lives through organ transplant. A utilitarian philosophy would say it's best for the one to die for the good of the many. And that seems like the kind of cold logic a robot would teach. But instead of telling daughter what to think, she asks what daughter thinks. I mean, Comp says I should be willing to suffer harm for the benefit of others. And do you agree? When daughter gives her answer, mother continues to challenge her ideas. We learn that mother is teaching a variety of philosophical views, not just one. You don't feel that every human has intrinsic value and an equal right to life and happiness? I did last month when you were teaching Kant. Instead of a dictator's, don't think, just trust me, Mother usually gives an explanation for her actions. 
And when daughter has doubts, mother guides her to look for evidence about what's true. Have you ever known me to be mistaken? This woman doesn't care about any future but her own. In short, mother is teaching daughter how to think critically and think for herself, not just indoctrinating her on what to think. When daughter takes the all-important exam, some of the questions are ambiguous like, I often feel misunderstood or I sometimes think about things too bad to talk about. I had a sense of dread when daughter answers yes to all these statements, assuming mother wouldn't appreciate such honesty. But daughter passes the exam with flying colors, showing she's free to be fully human. More humans will flourish in the new world than ever perished in the old. Your whole life I've taught you to see the bigger picture. Have I failed? So was Mother's plan to rebuild a more ethical society worth the cost? Is it possibly sympathetic? If humans were going to die out anyway, I think so. She's trying to build a society that judges a person's morals instead of skin color, that promotes cooperation over selfishness. And she's raising this new society to still be allowed to think for themselves and keep their privacy. So I think there's a shot this society just might work out. Certainly, if I was in daughter's position, I would much rather be raised by mother in the safety of the bunker than scraping for survival in the outside world. If I had to choose the means of humanity's destruction, I'd rather be wiped out by a well-meaning robot army rather than being killed by fellow humans. At least with robots, we could blame genocide on faulty programming or their incapacity for empathy. Even if mother is a villain, it's safe to say she meant well. This movie asks, who's the real monster? It goes much deeper than movies like Frankenstein or Hunchback of Notre Dame. Here no character is judged by physical ugliness, they're all judged by their ethics and actions. And it goes deeper than the Terminator or the Matrix, where man creates machine and machine tries to destroy its creator just because it can. In this case, the advanced machine tries to destroy humanity in order to rebuild and improve it. So what do you think? Is Mother an evil robot or a well-meaning character who took a good idea too far? We haven't even talked about where Mother got her master plan in the first place. Is she an AI gone wrong? Or did humans intentionally program her to reboot civilization this way? Certainly, the way Mother teaches ethics and independent thinking seems like a curriculum written by a human rather than a robot. But would human creators knowingly design Mother to destroy the humans left outside? I'd love to hear your theories. I Am Mother was the coolest robot movie I've seen all year. Truly sci-fi at its finest. If you liked I Am Mother, I highly recommend checking out the hidden gem, Moon. It brings up similar themes and messed up twists, but remixed in a completely different story. Check out our spoiler-free review focusing on Gertie, the caretaker robot with a similar role to Mother. Or check out our playlist for more robot reviews.